polyamory, open relationships. There are so many different types of relationships that we have nowadays. And everyone's wondering basically the same thing. How do I date multiple partners? Now, as someone who's been public about the fact that I am polyamorous and I've been in relationships with you know, two women at once or even more in my past, um, I feel that it's something that really needs to be said. First of all, if you want to date multiple people, there are some uh, ground rules that you have to follow, in my opinion. The first is you get to decide what kind of relationship you're in. If you want to be in an open relationship or in a closed group relationship, or you want to swap partners, whatever it is, you decide. Don't let anybody dictate what is or isn't okay. However, do make sure that everybody involved agrees with what's going on. In most relationships, communication is the key to success. When you add more people, you need more communication. You absolutely have to have that. You need more people talking because that's what makes this better. So everybody needs to describe what they need and what they want to be happy. Once you've ascertained what everybody needs, then it's simply a goal of working out how you're going to get into the relationship in the first place. There are only two ways of doing it. One, you're in a relationship that is not currently open where you have multiple partners and you want to bring somebody else in or you want to open it up. In my mind, this is the harder of the two to do. It seems to be the one that most people want to do and we'll deal with that in a moment. The other one is where you haven't yet got into a relationship and you're looking to get into one that has these rules and that is open. This is easier to do, but tends to be scarier. Before we deal with either of these, however, we're gonna deal with the uh, sort of like the elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about. Are human beings monogamous? I'll make it very simple for you and I'll invite you to make the decision. If human beings were naturally monogamous, wouldn't we naturally just want to stay with one person? Have you ever been with somebody and thought about somebody else? Have you ever been with somebody and then maybe you left them for somebody else? Maybe you cheated on them. If that was you, I would invite you to ask yourself whether you are monogamous yourself. Also, look at relationships around you. Do you see people getting divorced? cheating on each other, moving on with other people, saying, this is my true love, breaking up, and then saying, this is my true love. <laughs> if you see any of these things, I would argue that you should question whether human beings at their core are monogamous. I'm not going to go into the biology. I'm not going to show you the, the studies that have been done onto it. I'm just going to invite you to ask yourself, based on your own analysis, do you believe, do you truly believe you are monogamous and therefore are human beings monogamous? Once you have that discussion with yourself, it's a lot easier to work out what kind of relationship you want to develop, and what kind of relationship you want to get. If you are open to having open relationships or to diving into polyamory or maybe just putting your toe into the water, then this video is going to help you. First thing to do is if you're not in a relationship yet, it's very simple to just start owning the fact you're polyamorous. Literally just stating, not I want to date multiple people, but I am polyamorous. Polyamorous meaning I can love more than one person. I often tell people, if you have two pets, would you be happier if one of them disappeared than the other? Or do you just love them both equally? What about if you have two children? Most of us are polyamorous. I can love my pet. I can love my child. I can love my other child. I can love my partner. And if I want multiple partners, I can love more of them. That isn't to say that there aren't people in the world that want to be monogamous. And if you do want to be monogamous, then you should be monogamous. And find a partner that wants to be monogamous and have a wonderful monogamous life. And I wish that for you because there is nothing wrong with identifying the relationship you want and going for it. Go back to the beginning of the video where I said identify what you want and go for it. But if you want polyamory, if you want to be able to have multiple partners, just start by stating that you are polyamorous and just get into a relationship. You don't have to get into a relationship where it's agreed that you guys are going to have multiple partners. You just need to get into a relationship and explain that you're polyamorous. Then your partner will say, when you start dating, what does that mean? And you go, it means that right now we're dating and I'm polyamorous. And then they can say to you, does this mean you're going to see other people? And you say, at some point, I might. And you're welcome to as well. In this situation, at no point were they confused about what was going on. They saw clearly what happened. They can break up with you at that point and say, you know what, this isn't what I want. They can have that conversation with you. Be open to the conversation with them. Rather than saying, this is the relationship I want, just state, this is who I am. And then move forward with your relationships as normal. 
There's no need to set rules or boundaries on what a relationship is. One of the problems in life is that often people will identify themselves as their relationship. In fact, it gets so bad that some people only identify themselves in, uh, in a connection to their partner. So they might go up to somebody and say, oh yeah, I'm this person's husband or I'm this person's wife. As if you don't have an identity of your own. That's not how it works. You are you. Your rules and who you are and the beliefs that you have are who you are. You can be in a relationship, but that doesn't change who you are. You're still you. So you can be, in a, per you can be a polyamorous person in a relationship. You can also choose to be a polyamorous person in a monogamous relationship. At which point you're sacrificing the fact that you're polyamorous and can love multiple people to have a committed relationship with one person. Because you care about them so much that you're going to give up your polyamorous behavior while not be stopping being polyamorous to maintain that relationship. It'd be the same as somebody that likes steak, dating a vegan and giving up meat to be with them. It's absolutely acceptable to do this. But in doing so, it makes it much easier for you to add other people later. I'm in a relationship with somebody. I'm polyamorous. They're polyamorous. After a while, we can talk about meeting other people. And again, through communication and through discussion. The only time this gets difficult is if two people meet each other under the guise of being monogamous. And they set up a monogamous relationship. And now they want to open it. Essentially, they're taking the foundation of everything their relationship was built on and hitting it with a sledgehammer until it is complete gravel and then trying to build something new. It can be done, but you have to build it from the foundation of the relationship. You have to go back to what the relationship means and start again. Very few people want to do that. They want to hold on to that which is sacred that they already have and then they want to also have this new thing. But that can't happen. You're changing the dynamics of the relationship itself. There's nothing wrong with that and it can survive and it can last, but it will just be new. It will be something different and that's okay too. And this newness can also be fun and wonderful and maybe even better than it was before. But you've got to accept that that's what you've done. And the way this happens is with discussion with a partner. Now, there are many ways of dipping your toe into the water of polyamory from a relationship. The way I would strongly suggest you do it is with your partner's consent and by going through some hypothetical scenarios together where no one does anything. So maybe late at night, talk about it and describe what it would look like. And at each point, have your partner describe at what point they're uncomfortable. Maybe they're only comfortable with you going to coffee with people. So go to coffee with people. Be willing to have to lose those people and get rid of them and find somebody new. That's part of it. Until your partner has found what they are comfortable with and what they're not comfortable with. They might want you to have an intimate relationship only with them, but you can have a loving, caring friend relationship with somebody else. They might want you only to have a physically intimate relationship with somebody else, but no emotional connection. Either way, discuss it and find out what the connection is. By breaking down step by step what is okay and isn't okay, it's going to be a lot easier for your partner to accept this change in the relationship. However, most of the time, if you go into the relationship with a set of what the rules are and what the foundation is, as long as you stick to that, everything works. Which comes to my final part about multiple relationships. Remember that you only have seven days in a week. And the key to successful multiple relationships is to divide those days up. They don't have to be divided equally, but you have to stick to the structure. So if you give somebody, say, Monday and Thursday every single week, they have Monday and Thursday. If you suddenly claim them back because you want to give them to somebody new, that causes problems. Because once again, the foundation is every Monday and Thursday is yours. And then when we claw them back, we're pulling away the foundation of the relationship. So your goal is to maintain consistency because human beings, if nothing else, love consistency. We want to know the rules. We want to know the boundaries. And we want to be able to follow them and stick to them. So if you want to have a successful relationship with multiple people, find your rules, find your boundaries and stick to them like glue. And as long as you do that, then actually add some great communication. You're actually going to find that it works pretty well because human beings really are capable. Um, whether it's what we're supposed to do or not, we are definitely capable of maintaining monogamous relationships for as long as we are capable of maintaining non-monogamous ones. So hope that helps.